Hi everyone, Miss Abbott here from the library and I am so happy that you could join us here today. I'm wondering what kinds of things have you been up to? Have you been on a walk? I know I have. Have you been watching a little TV? Have you been reading lots of excellent books? I sure hope so. Have you been enjoying time with your family? Absolutely. I hope you're staying safe and healthy, and I really look forward to reading together in the library again soon. In the meantime, um, when I've been out with my family right now, I have been noticing that the weather's starting to get warmer, and it's really starting to make me think about spring and all the changes in the seasons that we see when spring happens. I've noticed some birds singing in my backyard. I've seen more squirrels around and the plants are starting to grow in my garden. Have you noticed those things? Well, today I'm gonna to be reading you a book about nature uh, with the permission of Scholastic Canada. And this book is called Because of an Acorn. Because of an Acorn by Lola M. Schaefer and Adam Schaefer illustrated by Fran Preston Gannon. And I'm reading you this book today with permission from Scholastic Canada. So here on my cover, I can see I have my authors and I have my illustrator. Illustrator is the name for the person who drew the pictures and author are the names of the people who wrote the story. While I'm reading, keep your eye open for the magic page the page that looks the same as the cover, because of an acorn. Because of an acorn. Because of an acorn, a tree. Maybe you've seen these start to sprout in your backyard. When maple keys fall, they'll often start small trees. And if you're out in your backyard, have an eye out, see if you can find any examples of seeds because of a tree, a bird. Because of a bird, a seed. Because of a seed, a flower. Because of a flower, a fruit because of a fruit a chipmunk because of a chipmunk a snake what do you think is going to come next are there any clues on this page any new plants or animals because of a snake a hawk. Because of a hawk, an acorn. Because of an acorn, a forest. I really love this story because of an acorn. It reminds me of spring and the idea that all things in nature are connected and depend on each other. All right, Spartans, I hope you enjoyed today's reading of the acorn. And I have a springtime challenge for you. When you're out in your backyard or walking through your neighborhood this week, I wonder how many of the living things from this book can you find? Can you find an acorn or a bird or a seed or a hawk? I don't know. I've never seen a snake in my yard, but maybe you'll be luckier than I've been. Thanks again for joining me, Applecroft, and I look forward to reading again with you next week. Keep on reading. Bye for now.